What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Locked on Sharks, the premier hockey podcast covering your favorite team in the Bay Area. Well, I don't know where to start. Eric Carlson is back. Sachenko got a win. Hurdle wrapped it around. To boys, uh, so many things happening. The Sharks beat the Kings 4-3 in overtime. What a day to be alive. I don't even care about the standing points right now. So many, so many beautiful things happened. Uh, mostly Eric Carlson happened, but I don't know. What I don't know. Music. Come on. Stop me from Tobias. <laughs> Tobias. You're locked on sharks. Your daily podcast on the San Jose Sharks. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. I'm your host, Cal Demetrius. Back with me, as always, is co-host JD, the Antero Nitamaki to my uh, Troy Grossnick. Notable, <laughs> notable Sharks backups. <laughs> Antero Nitamaki was sweet. Uh, yeah, let's start. Let's start with Zach Sochenko. Uh, Eric Carlson's had lots of good games. We we will <laughs> we will get to Eric we will Carlson. get there. Uh, we could have started with the other rare occurrence. It's like Haley's comment. Thomas Hurdle scored a wraparound. Uh, yes. But yeah, Zach Sochenko got his first win. Good for him. Yeah, played he, played all right. Yeah the the two goals he gave up in eight seconds uh, definitely will not, not great. On, <laughs> not on the not on the highlight reel, but and I the shorty. That you know, you can't blame him on that, but he made some big saves. He was peppered all night with shots. I think uh, we talked about how the Kings take a bajillion shots, and they did that tonight. They had 36 shots um, on goal, but he stood tall. I mean, it wasn't the the prettiest, and you know, it wasn't the smoothest at all times, but he got the job done. He battled in there, and he, he calmed down, especially after that. And you know, it's nice to see a guy who's definitely had the uh, the the windiest of paths to the NHL. You know, kind of to get that first win. So good for him. He, uh, yeah, he saved 30, uh, 33 of them for a, a 917 save percentage, which is better than most of the goalies <laughs> we've seen in San Jose for years on end. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I think you just got to keep giving him the net. Yeah. Why I mean, not? Why not? You know, um, I think he's, he's a better prospect than we've seen, like from Mel Nuchu, great Kojanash last season. And, you know, and I, again, I think some of that, some of that kind of, where it's just not so pretty. That'll that'll come with just playing more games and stuff like that. Or he's There's just like that. Or he's just like that. And that's like I mean, you know. let's let's be real. Yeah, Zach Sochenko really shouldn't be any good in the NHL. <laughs> he was undrafted, went to Canadian University, <laughs> played in the AHL. I don't think yeah. he was particularly amazing in the AHL. No. Uh, so I think he also maybe played in the ECHL. He's like found money, but Aiden Hill's still not a hundred percent. No, Alex Stalock. Sorry, bro. Nope. Thanks for coming back to the NHL. <laughs> yeah, nope. Uh, James Reimer, toast. So, like, why not give him that? Any one. You got to go back to back with them. Uh, you yeah, they don't, uh, well, yeah, they don't play again until Sunday. Saturday. So, Saturday. Yeah. So, they have the day off. I think you just roll with Sachenko until, I don't know, he gets shelled. <laughs> oh, that's else. coming against Florida next week. So, yes. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's, ugh, ugh. We'll get to that day, but. We have gathered here to celebrate the life and times of Zach Sochenko <laughs> and what he brought to the San Jose Sharks. But yeah, it was, it was you know it's good for him, you know, especially with with being in a lot of games and getting put into a lot of situations where it's oh you're down six nothing, go out there, kid, and go do something for us. But um, you know, I thought like I said, he made some big saves when he had to. Um, I mean, he made through. Let's be real, he made, he made thirty three saves, and yes. he had a nine seventeen. Like you can't. Can't ask too much more from him. It was fine. Like Philip Deneau had five shots. Athanasi had four shots. Matt, well, Matt Roy sucks. Yeah, and uh, the uh, Trevor the, Moore. Trevor, what was Trevor? Why was Trevor Moore so good tonight? <laughs> Trevor Moore's if, that like, literally shot, should he had three points. Yeah, and they were two primaries and a goal, and uh, he almost had another one too. So yeah, he you know, Trevor Moore. <laughs> Trevor, that's enough of you. I don't want. I any saw more that. Of you. <laughs> anybody, if anybody asks, you know when JD is tweeting because it's, it's like you're not quite your dad, but like a soon to be dad <laughs> is tweeting. JD is a twice dad, so like you can tell yeah. the difference. I'm out here talking about like cum and stuff, and JD's like the Make boys tried. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, let's let's talk hurdle. So I don't want to. <laughs> 
because then we can talk Carlson next. So. Okay. <laughs> when are we going to get to the fireworks factory? Do um, we have to read ads first? Because I feel like we shouldn't break up Tomas Hurdle's big night with some ads. Yeah, let me do an ad here for our good We're going to do ads. They give us money. Yes. Also, <laughs> I would like to point out, I would like to point out, our fans are great and mm-hmm. they don't complain about the length of the ads. Yes. Fans of other podcasts do. We can't control what they tell us to do. Mm-hmm. And if you listen to Locked and Sharks, you can clearly tell that we go off script on a regular basis. Yes. Uh, because yeah, that's not that's not the that's not the formula that they give us. But thank you guys for not complaining about the ads. Uh, if you want to, but... if you want to bet on the length of this ad, there's only one place you could do betonline.net. So bet. It is that time of year as college basketball tournament is finally upon us. From all the latest odds, contests, and player props. BetOnline.net is the number one source for all your sports betting needs and info. BetOnline remains the best spot for your sports scores, podcasts, and news this season. It's not just basketball. BetOnline's got you covered for all your continued source for all your sporting wagered information needs, such as hockey, baseball, though it's going to be back, and also including live betting. Uh, I predicted that. You did predict that. That's two for two for you. Uh, including live betting in your favorite Vegas casino game. So head over to the website today. Use your mobile device to learn more about the trends in action. Bet online where the game starts. Tomas Hurdle. He He's finally- one for a million, baby. <laughs> Wrap around. It finally <laughs> worked. Somebody tweeted at we us. Did it, you- <laughs> we did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> Also, for the record, we use that meme ironically because it's really funny. It is really uh, funny. So somebody funny. tweeted at us after the, we, we posted we, about the hurdle sorry, wrap-up. Somebody tweeted just, us. Abru- somebody, everybody tweeted at us. Well, everybody after. did. Yes. Uh, but somebody tweeted us the bride Fantana. It 60% of the time it works every time. Yes. I don't know how many times in my life watching Tomas Hurdle since 2014 or whenever he was drafted, he, he has tried to wrap around and failed. And it's not like he's like slid it through the crease amazing save at the end he's doing wraparounds that are like kind of easily savable <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or like it's just nowhere near one time yeah. we watched him do a wraparound that hit the post his yeah. own post i don't even i didn't even think that was possible so he made a sick move yes he did and then he went around the back of the net i just i cannot believe it happened and it was for the game winner yes in overtime <laughs> good for him the world is truly ending it's been a ride everybody <laughs> That's good for him. Hasn't scored in a bajillion games. Gets off the it's schneid. January 29th. That's that's a long time for Tomas Hurdle. That is a long time for Hurdle. So, yeah, good for him to finally get off the schneid and score. Um, he was fired up tonight. You could tell just the way he's played. Um, uh, who, Tobias. Uh, Tobias. <laughs> got a, you know, got, drew a penalty off of him. And Hurdle was furious when he went to the penalty box, like, like angry, just yelling at the refs. And I just wanted to mention Tobias any chance I get. So, um, but yeah, you you could kind of had a feeling that Hurdle was going to play a big part in if the Sharks were going to win win the game in overtime, just because he was definitely this is one of the better Hurdle games that we've seen in a while. Yeah, he was he was so good that people forgot that Timo Meyer was did nothing. Timo Meyer, yeah, <laughs> which is fine. He scored five goals last time against the Kings. So he's he's so got it. Yeah, he's got a okay. couple in the bank. Yes, it's it's fine. But uh, Barabanov also that like Hurdle and Barabanov were were balling tonight. So when that happens, like Hurdle steps up his game. Obviously, it'd be nice if Timo did, but like other guys are stepping up and, and covering. And it's not like Timo was so bad that he couldn't be played. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's um, just- he was just kind of quiet tonight, so which is fine. It was just fine. It happens. Timo, uh, Timo still played twenty minutes. Yeah, of ice time, almost almost twenty one minutes of ice time. Shout out. Speaking of ice time, shout out for Bob not starting Brent Burns in overtime. Look yeah. what happens. <laughs> I know. Look what happens. So, should we get to the fireworks factory? Twenty six minutes of absolute <laughs> Swedish fire. I. <laughs> You could pay him eleven and a half million dollars when he's fifty-five years old, and I would not care. Yeah, he was just sweet. You knew from the jump, right off the jump, that Eric Carlson was just feeling it tonight. And we we've seen that plenty of times where as soon as the puck goes down, Eric Carlson is just literally the best player on the ice. The offense actually looked like a real offense tonight with Eric Carlson, you know, driving play, getting the puck out of the zone, creating amazing opportunities that just sometimes just other guys just couldn't do anything with. But like when you put him with other skill players like Barabanov, 
look at that that pass slash goal by Bear the Carlson Bear Benoff. And even, you know, we the the Burns play where uh in the on the power play where Carlson again just kind of does some magic on along the boards, passes to Burns, and Burns has a sniper of a shot. But ah, oh, God, it, just, it was so nice to just watch Eric Carlson play hockey and create functioning offense. He's so good. He was having a great season before he got hurt, obviously. Yeah. Um, Tried like, to play through but, it. Yeah, know. exactly. And, and then went out. He came back and it looked like he wasn't missing a beat. Uh, that pass to Bear Banoff was <laughs> wild <laughs> shit. Let me think about uh, that it's later. Nice to see, it's nice to see uh, a defenseman break out of the zone with the puck on his stick. Yeah. Creating offense, gaining the blue line on the other side and doing something with it. I mean, Ryan Merkley did that too, but apparently he cannot be trusted. It's just, it, he's so good when he's you, healthy and yeah, playing. You, for, you oh. forget like, oh yeah, this is, this is why they traded for him. This is why they pay him so much money because he single-handedly made the Sharks a functioning offense. You know, we, we talked so much since he got hurt, you know, especially after the All-Star break where they just can't generate sustained offense. You know, they're, they're shooting, you know, 20 shots on goal a night if they're lucky, you know. And then tonight, what did they have? They had 30, 30 shots on goal. I mean, I granted they were on the power play six times tonight, but like just a casual six times, <laughs> just a casual six times for, uh, on the power play tonight. But like Eric Carlson's generating that offense and he's, he's the one who's helping them on the power play. Like you, we saw most of the power plays Carlson was getting double shifted on the power play because guess what? He can drive offense and he can run a power play. And yes, putting Eric Carlson in position to succeed and, and Kyle, I think we we're missing the big thing. He stopped a two on one without having to go to starfish, which I didn't know was physically possible. Who if, if you're just in great positioning and can block the shot. I can't believe that. Yes. Who knew? Eric Carlson course, good at the hockey game. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's just such a treat to watch him play. It's it was just so nice to have him back. <laughs> back in our lives. The problem is, is that he I might help like, them win a few. I feel games. like shit. I just want him back. <laughs> <laughs> he might help them win a couple games on the stretch here. It's Probably. Just, uh, uh, not ideal. Not what we want. <laughs> it's okay, but. He had three shots on goal tonight. Like he was just doing everything. Uh, for people that care, he was a plus minus of zero. Eat your heart out, Kevin Kurtz. <laughs> yeah, two primary assists on the power play, which were just goal that uh, that bear ban off one. I, I'm gonna be thinking about that for a while. That I'm just watching it on my phone as we record here. Yeah. Like, baby. Yeah. Uh, it's almost as nice as the hurdle wrapper. <laughs> it's so good. Um, speaking of speaking of penalties, and what you various things. Scott Reedy cannot come out of the lineup. <laughs> no, he's too good. He's too good. But at the same time, he drew three goddamn penalties tonight. Soft hands, draw some uh, penalties. Like this is the kind of shit that we were talking about earlier in the season when you insist on playing Nieto, Cogliano, Veal. Sorry, guys, no, bitch, still... you're fine, but like they still play them. But like you insisted on playing these guys and you're cycling out other dudes. You could have had Reedy up. Like I, I understand that he's a rookie and he just is playing his first pro season, whatever. But like you got to give him a shot. And like look what he did against the team that's second in the division. Mm -hmm. uh, they're ahead of Vegas. Mm -hmm. Who lost again tonight? <laughs> they look amazing. Uh, they look pretty like competent outside of their goaltending. And look what he did. He drew three penalties. Uh, he had two shot. He had a shot on goal. Took a penalty. Whatever. So he was that was a soft in the penalty, penalty. But anyway. But like that, that's a guy. He only played eleven minutes. Like, why can't you bump him up a couple minutes? Why can't you take a couple minutes from like Cogliano played thirteen fifty five? I guess Benino played fifteen. You can like Benino. I I got a bone. Benino played Benino. fourteen. I got a bone to pick with you, Benino. Ooh. You stole. The lens goal. You stole it. Did he? <laughs> he did on the uh the panel. So 
the power play. Dolan made a nice move. He shoots it. It kind of bounces over Quick's, uh, you know, kind of bounces over his pad, and it's like it's about ready to go in. And then Dolan kind of or Benino dives in and kind of gives a little the old taparu to push it in and get credit for the goal. That was Dolan's goal. But Dolan looked really good tonight. Like you could, you know, coming back from his injury. Um, his it's amazing injury. When, he had whiplash. Whiplash, which is. Ugh. Yeah, you know, he looked good tonight. It took him a, c- a couple shifts to kind of get going, but by the second period, you know, he looked good. He had a lot of great A chances. Uh, wasn't able to capitalize on on some of them, but like a lot of great A chances. And you know, I think you got to keep like you know, you got to keep running him out there and let him kind of figure it out and work through it. And well, you saw that again as the game went on. He looked a lot better. Wasn't he still like fourth in team on the goals or something like that? Yes. Like he had eleven goals. Like... Well, nobody sco- <laughs> when nobody scores goals, you don't have to worry about people moving up and down the, the rankings. This, this is true. But yes. I mean, like these are the kind of guys that we are asking for. Obviously, Dalen played, and then he started getting scratch. But like, Reedy can't leave the lineup. And the only negative thing we're going to do during the podcast: the season is lost. Mm-hmm. Why is Ryan Merkley not just glued to a spot? On the ice, we don't need to see Vlasic. We don't need to see Shimmick. Honestly, we Shimmick, don't oh, need really, to see Shimmick's Jacob on Negna. IR right now. So anyway, he got moved to IR. Just a little clean that up. But anyway, yes. Who cares? The point still stands. He's playing up to this point. Yes. We don't need to see Jacob Magna. We don't need to see Nick Malosh. We don't need to see. Pick your random defenseman. They like we don't. We know what they are. Mm-hmm. Burns, Carlson, Middleton, Jacob, superstar Middleton. Oh, what a baller. Those are really the three guys that should be in the lineup. You're going to play Vlasic because he's got a million dollar contract. Yeah. But like after that, after Burns, Carlson, Middleton, Vlasic, why you have Merkley two spots playing? left. Why, why is Merkley not playing? Why do we that need Nick and Malone? As much as we love watching Carlson, we don't want to see Carlson double shifting and <laughs> come every power play and just burn him out. Uh, so yeah, let Merkley play some. But yeah. Instead, he's in the press box eating built bars mm-hmm. because built bars are covered in 100% real chocolate, which means they taste good. They taste like your traditional chocolate bar. Not like one of those weird protein bars you pick up at the gas station. It's chalky, waxy, tastes like chemicals. The mint never tastes like mint. The peanut butter doesn't taste like peanut butter. And that's why you go to built bar. And they have good flavors too. So you get that 100% real chocolate. Plus, you get like coconut brownie. You get double chocolate if you want even more. You get peanut butter, peanut butter chocolate, cherry barcia, all sorts of different flavors. And Built Bar is always coming with new flavors, especially they go with themes around uh, different times of the year. Holidays are coming up. Maybe they'll have some. You always got to check out Built.com. They have a white chocolate shamrock one right now for St. Patrick's Day. There you go. White chocolate shamrock for St. Patrick's Day. Check it out. You can only find it at Built.com. And if you're not really feeling a protein bar, you want something a little different, Built Puffs are the first ever protein-infused marshmallow, and they're covered in 100% real chocolate, and they have awesome flavors like cinnamon churro, coconut marshmallow, banana cream pie. Everybody loves a cream pie. So you got to do it. Plus, most Built Bars only contain 130 calories, 4 grams of sugar, 4 net carbs, and 17 grams of protein. Compare that with your traditional chocolate bar. 240 calories, 30 grams of sugar, dozens of net carbs. So you know what you got to do? You got to go to built.com, use promo code LOCKED15 and get 15% off your order. Use promo code LOCKED15, L-O-C-K-E-D-1-5 for 15% off at built.com. Yeah. I can't believe they beat the Kings. Well, I can. The goalies suck. Yeah. Like on on the hurdle wraparound, what the hell was Jonathan Quick doing? (laughs) Jonathan Quick things. (laughs) Oh, my God. Filling his diaper and... (laughs) That, they're like... Like the Kings, you can see, like you can see the pieces there. Their their goaltending is the the one thing that. Yeah, and like Quentin Byfield played like nine minutes. Like I did enjoy Gatovich trying to start it with the Byfield, and Byfield's like, "Are you really want to do this, dude?" Byfield is six, also big, six five, like two forty. <laughs> Just like you really want to do this, dude. Yeah. Once oh. he figures out, it's gonna be dude. It's a game games. over. Oh my god! Yeah. I did uh, see also a... Andre Andreas Athanasio. He does go burn. <laughs> go burn. I was not lying to you guys. He is very fast. Um, I did see a certain account that will not be Nate or a certain uh, account that was uh laughing at the Kings for drafting Byfield over Stu- so or draft, yeah. Was it Tom Hunter? 
No, it was uh, Lock on Sense. Uh, no, it wasn't them, but I think they re- they they retweeted or something like that. But it's like, loser okay, shit. let's uh, yeah. Social, I'm social's gonna be fun. Lo- it's just loser energy when you have you picked a good person. Yeah, he's gonna you know be fun. I mean? Byfield is a freaking Byfield is like that kind of we talk about with like Co, where it's like that deer, but once he puts it together, Byfield gets, gets the instruction manual. Yeah, he gets that instruction manual, dude. Byfield's gonna be a monster. <laughs> should we uh should we fry it up? It is Friday. Okay. You go first. I always go well, first. Me? I went for no. <laughs> yeah, I went for yeah. age before beauty, buddy. That's why you always go first. <laughs> My third fry of the week is Tomas Hurdle. That's my third Friday that we do. Oh, because he completed a wraparound. That's he the completed reason. the wrapper. He wrapped it up, baby. He wrapped it up. You always got to wrap it up. It's always key. You don't want to be just out here raw dog and the wraparounds. My second Friday of the week, a returning, triumphant, big, veiny, triumphant bastard, Eric Carlson. Uh, my second Friday of the week is Zachary Sacheco. Earned that first NHL start. Black win. ass shit. Yeah, I got his start. Um, our new the Godchenko, he's here. He's entered the chat. Let's go. We gotta come up with a new name for Dzing God because <laughs> Godchenko is clearly the, <laughs> the gotcha, yeah. You said Zing scratched. It's just, oh. it's just that. Oh, the day after his birthday too. Like, that's shit by Bob. <laughs> My first star of the week is Zach Sachenko because I'm not a asshole like you are. Uh, second, who could possibly be above him? If you say Eric Carlson, he doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. Zach Sachenko, undrafted, straight out of U Sports, which is what the Canadian League is called, mm-hmm. into the fire, gets his first win. Yeah, Eric Carlson. Zach Sachenko. Eric Carlson. Eric Carlson lifting, did whip it out tonight. Lifting the Titanic off the floor just single handedly in the Sharks' offense. Just, uh, I'm Eric Carlson. Here's my big dick, and I'm going to score. <laughs> We're going to have some offense now. There's nothing you could do to stop me. I have all of the offense. I am bringing <laughs> all it. the offense. Uh, and he looked great doing it too. A little smirk on his face. Uh, it was a haircut, just, bro. Just hot, hot fire. The Ragnarok haircut is <laughs> back. Remember all the Carlson jokes we had? Oh, we can use them again. They're back. They're back. They're back, baby. In I did use. Fo- in pod I did form. use. The, I did get to use the, like five minutes in the first period. I did use the uh, big dick energy uh, tweet. Just. Yeah. No, you mean the big dick is back in town? <laughs> yeah. It's the greatest yeah. picture. I don't even know where I found it on the internet, but I'm never getting rid of it. I'm going to use it no. to mold. It's no. amazing. Uh, it That's that going guy. to be you when you're old. You're going to actually get that sweater. Oh, hell yeah. I'd get it now. I know we're getting each other for our birthdays now. <laughs> Legos? <laughs> yes. Cool. If you'd like to follow us on the internet, you can do that at Locked on Sharks on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you'd like to follow us on the visuals, you can do that at YouTube at Locked on Sharks. If you'd like to follow us on the electronic mail, you can do that at Locked on Sharks at gmail.com. Oh, we have emails? Ah, we'll do it next week. Okay. I'm over it. I want to talk to my girlfriend. It's late. Sorry, people. I have priorities. If you'd like to listen to us, you can do that at Amazon, Apple, Spotify, the usual suspects. If you would like to go see JD's Twitter feed uh, for in all its glory, you can do that at my fry hole. Kyle, is that Kyle Demetrius? Thank you for making us your first listen. Um, go check out Locked on Fantasy Hockey, Locked on NHL. Now, if you want a quick uh, reaction to what happened the night before, uh, go check out Locked on Bets. If you want to make some money, especially with uh, the old March Madness coming around, or any of the other amazing Locked on podcasts, such as Locked pressure, here, buddy. I know pressure. I am two for two. <laughs> I said I said locked on Broncos and they made the Russell Wilson trade. Then I said locked on Astros and baseball came back. This is a lot of a lot of things. I don't I don't know what's uh what's hot right now in the world. What should I what should I comment on? Do we have uh I don't know, this is too much pressure now. <laughs> should I do a hockey I'll... one for a trade? I don't, I don't know if Ooh. that's uh I'm gonna say, go check out our friends over at Locked On Giants and Locked On A's as baseball's oh, back. Screw them. Yeah, or let's Kyle's. Go yeah, let's go with locked on flyers. They're gonna trade terrible. Clo- they're gonna trade Clojure tomorrow. <laughs> that, they're just probably crying over that. Uh, there was a line contract. Well, that's why they got to trade Clojure for Rasmus. 
<laughs> they got to pay for that. Mm-hmm. Bye, friends. We'll be back on Monday. Eric Lynn just did nothing wrong. Oh, you're supposed to go to the thing. Why would you say recap? People know what's going on. Recap the Kings. Bye, friends. You're a, you're a king. Eric Lindros, what a legend.